Hey y'all, what's up? We're back with another tutorial. For this set, my client did come in with inspo, so I'm gonna drop that right here. Usually for my base colors, I like to go in with a more pink type of nude, but she did wanna go in with the same nude that she used on this picture, so that's what we ended up doing. I did custom mix this acrylic, so I'm not too sure what acrylics they were, so I won't be able to tell you guys what exact acrylic it is, but you guys know the drill. I'm gonna let you guys watch the application, and once we get to filing, I'll be right back. <laughs>
now we're on to filing and as always going underneath the sidewall to make it straight and just using my hand file to even it out make sure that everything is leveled and perfect once we're done with this i'm gonna go in with my e-file and just clean up underneath the free edge and clean up the cuticle as well as i've mentioned i do go in with the wetter bead for my cuticle so i never have to do too much when it comes to sealing it but i still like to do so just in case for the files i am using my 60 by 60 files and if you guys are interested and purchasing they are linked in the description box so go ahead and check that out Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to go underneath the free edge and just crisp it up. Um, nothing too crazy. You don't want to make it too thin. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal the cuticle and just smooth out the rest of the nail so I could have a perfect base for when I do my Frenchies or any design on top. I'm using the Kiara Sky Fine Carbide Bit. And I'm going to have it linked in the description box as well. Also with some Amazon ones that you guys can purchase from there. <music>
now we're going to get into the French tips. And for the French tips, we're using a variety of pinks along with white. So every color that I'm going to use today will be linked in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out if you guys would like to. For the thumb, it's going to be the same color as the pointer finger. So just keep that in mind as well. Once I'm done with the French tips, I'm going to go ahead and top coat them before I get into my design because we're going to be doing a 3D design. The reason we do top coat before the design is because if you do it after, the design isn't going to look 3D and the point of the design is for it to look textured and layered on. So if you put the top coat on top, it's going to look like just a regular drawing. So that's not the look we're going for. So like I mentioned, top coat on all 10 fingers and we're going to dry that for 60 seconds. Once that step is done, we're going to get into the design. And for the design, we're going to be drawing XOs, um, some hearts, and some lips. 
for every finger so that's what we're gonna get into right here and i like to do each finger individually just because i feel like i don't know i feel like i'll mess it up if i don't or my client will accidentally touch it we like to be preventative around here y'all look at this little heart and then the lips lips are so easy to do i remember at first i used to struggle with them but yeah this is like the easiest way to do your lips i don't know I want to learn how to do the realistic type of lips, like with the cracks in them. Um, I feel like it'll be super time consuming, but I actually have a client who's going to be getting that soon. And I got some stickers because so the inspo that she sent me, the girl used some lips from like some lip stickers. So that's what I ordered. But if we don't like them or she's not messing with them, we're going to just try to do it freehand and we'll see how that goes. But I'm kind of looking forward to drawing them. I don't know. I know it's going to be time consuming, but I feel like I could get down with it. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But of course, I'm going to post a YouTube video when it comes to that set. Honestly, I'd be recording everything, but there's a lot of nail posts that like, well, nail pictures and videos that I don't post because sometimes they end up like, I don't know, a little repetitive or just basic, I guess. And I feel like I got to keep up with like the extravagant nails. But if you guys want to see some more of the basic sets that I do, I could definitely post those as well. I just feel like you guys won't really be into it, but you never know. Also, I forgot to mention, after I finished drawing the design, I dump powder on top and then have them set it for 60 seconds. And then I just dust them off and they're good to go. I know a lot of people have asked if, you know, I add top coat after my 3D designs, but I don't. I feel like it takes away from them. So that's it. That's all I do for that step. Y'all, these colors are super pigmented, though. I didn't think they were going to be this pigmented. Honestly, I just bought a white gel polish from, like, Amazon because I needed it ASAP and I was running out. So I bought one and I was like, we'll see if, it, if it's good or not. But it ended up being super good. I used to use the Valentino one, but I started using this one instead. And it's going to be linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But it's like super cheap and it's great quality. But that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.